Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. What up, everybody? This is Jason Lee, and this is Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. And I'm Melissa Ford, a.k.a. The Curve Queen. Yo, it's DJ Damage. Let's get this show started. And we have the one and only Parker McKenna in the building. Hey, yeah. Y'all. Is it Parker McKenna Posey? Yeah, I kind of just go by Parker McKenna now because, you okay. know, my Instagram name is just Parker McKenna, so I feel like it's kind of just followed me now, but my okay. full name is Parker McKenna Posey. Wait, oh, okay, well, did you did you go by the full name before? Yeah, like, you know, when I was on My Wife and Kids and stuff, and even on the show now, it says my full name, Parker McKenna Posey, but I feel like everyone knows me by just Parker McKenna, which I'm totally fine with. So, okay. of course, because I own Hollywood Unlocked, I know who you are, and, uh, you know, we, we've <laughs> written about you before, but I didn't realize... That you were the little girl. I mean, you just have just verified that we're aging really fast over here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, me too. I feel old as hell, honestly. Yeah, no, not sitting next to us. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you grown as hell. Do people still try to, do people still think about you as a little girl from that show? Because I know when we've interviewed celebrities who've been on television shows, especially big ones like that, people just want to keep, you know, like Jennifer Freeman, they yeah. just want to yeah. remember you all as those people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. I was just, I had an interview yesterday and I'm like, I, I told my boyfriend actually, I was like, I'm going to be Katie forever. You can just go ahead and put it on like my tombstone, like Parker McKenna, AKA Katie on it, because literally that's what people know me as, you know, that's what I'm most recognized for. You know, my wife and kids was such a big show and yeah. made such a big impa- impact in, mark- in our community. So, um, You know, I'm grateful for it. I think it's funny because people are like, when they see me, they're like, what the fuck? Like, super confused. (laughs) But I'm like, am I supposed to stay three years old for 20 more years? You know, because I'm 23 now. Damn. So you were three years old when you got booked for the show. Yeah. So I booked it around like three and a half. I started when I was four and Mm -hmm. I ended when I was turning 10. So we had like a pretty good run. And I understand why people are confused when they see me. I mean, the show is still on air. Like, you can find it on a channel Mm -hmm. once a week at least what so, are those syndication was that the show like? with the young guy who, <laughs> was that the show with the young boy that played the piano yes he, mm-hmm. he's yeah. grown i mean he's he's grown out too he's, i just saw everybody's yeah, grown. yeah i still remember him there's that little kid on oprah who played <laughs> the damn uh, piano yeah, what was his he, name his name is noah um and very talented yeah he's very talented he's actually literally a genius so like oh, when wow. i was in high school like 10th grade he was like starting college he's a genius my question is um growing up in this industry and i know you know a lot of people was it some people you kind of looked up to that kind of mentored you that try to slide in your DMs once they noticed you were That's a little older? That's a really good wait, wait, question. Wait, are we asking when she was a young kid? No, <laughs> I'm talking about, look. We're talking about now. If you uh, haven't seen it and you see it I'm, now, it's I'm some just people. saying, we're in the era of R. Kelly. I don't know where the conversation is <laughs> Hopefully going. not when she was on the show. She's trying to find. Um, definitely. Well, you know, social media wasn't really popping back then when I was on the mm-hmm. show. Like, Instagram and stuff started really getting popular when I was like, like, MySpace was popular when I was in, like, junior high, you know, mm-hmm. going into junior high and then it was Instagram and that was like you know mid high school for me so um, when Nobody I had graduated was everybody was like she's finally 18 oh, like yeah, you know that was the big thing like I remember there just being so many like memes and <laughs> things going around the internet like finally and I'm just like you guys are creeps and honestly like when I was growing up I don't know like my I knew auditioning and stuff because I was I saw audition mm-hmm. after you know I rapped for my wife and kids but I kind of had a hard time because my body was different than everybody I was going up against and not only in that, terms but of just I was I had a body so you, you developed know? yeah I developed okay. like you know around like 12 like it's I, a gift I had, and a curse yeah honey. It's definitely a gift and a curse. especially <laughs> for the industry that I'm in unfortunately mm-hmm. and then on top of that I was constantly going up against you know white girls so mm-hmm. you know thank God the industry is changing and you know there's way more opportunities for women of color right now mm-hmm. and I just love that but I mean if we weren't filming, if we weren't filming the show we, we would think I mean we hear city girl I mean you're you're very you, you sound like the valley you sound like you're from the valley <laughs> yeah but you're are you from the valley or are you from Crenshaw's I'm Compton. like from yeah. I grew up over in Crenshaw. Hey. I grew up, yeah. <laughs> my dad is over there, and um, my and mom raised black. me. My dad is black. My mom is white, and my mom had me right by Hamilton High. So there it is. That, that's my roots. That's where I'm from. But I definitely live in the valley now, and you know, I've always sounded like a valley girl. That's I okay. Like. I grew up in the hood. I moved here and went straight to Burbank. <laughs> I, some, I somehow got on the freeway. I ended up in Watts. I, they they threatened me at the gas station. I was like, I don't even want to be in your fucking community. I'm out. Bye. Let's let this be a mistake that will never be repeated. Listen. Shout out to Watch. Shout out to South Central. I love all y'all. Just stay over there. I love it. I love it in LA. Like I feel at home there, but the traffic, y'all, I oh, can't do it. And yeah. I'm such a homebody. I prefer to just keep my little self in the valley. But mm-hmm. being from Crenshaw area, what do you think about the whole Nipsey Hustle um, situation that's going on? I mean, it's really, I've, I just came 
back from out of town and I was trying to explain to my family that LA just feels very different right now. Oh, it's mm-hmm. so different, honestly. You know, it's it's super, super devastating, I feel like, for everybody who's from LA, even people that aren't from LA, people from out of the country. Like, it seriously touched everybody around the world. And I completely understand why, because he made such a big impact, you know, just in the world and especially for our community. So, you know, working with London or Lauren London and getting closer with her, um, it was really, really hard. Like, you know, when we all got the news. So, um, you know, we just send her our prayers and, you know, we wish her well right now in this terrible, terrible time. You know, she, we ha- I haven't seen her. And Had you guys con- concluded filming when um, Nipsey- Right before, literally. Oh, I, talked to, I talked to Tracy Edmonds. She said he had showed up on he was set three days on before. Set our wow. last day. Yeah. Whoa. So, and I briefly just like talked to him for a, literally a second, like mm-hmm. didn't even really have a full on conversation. And I've seen him, you know, in passing before and of course ran into him and Lauren in the club and all types of stuff and Mm -hmm. I just totally love their relationship I always told her hashtag goals literally always always Mm -hmm. always told her that so it was it was super super hard yeah the last time I saw them it was at the Rock Nation brunch and I remember I was telling Lauren that they you could tell they were made for each other like Mm -hmm. they had a very special relationship yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely Mm -hmm. so what do you think about you know there's a lot of conversation now about people who leave the hood or make it out the hood and make it quote unquote make it and then feel like this desire to go back and give back and then for something like that to happen do you feel like coming from that area that you have some type of obligation to give back or do you have a desire to go back and give back to the community definitely i think it's important you know no matter where you come from to give back to any community you know we're here we can make a difference you know in our world and especially with our youth so i look up, i looked up to someone like nipsey you know or anybody who's out here and willing to kind of you know, put themselves in harm's way, you know, kind yeah. of in mm-hmm. a way, and um, still give back and do stuff for their people. It's super important. I'm I'm really big on giving back and just working with our youth because, you know, it starts with them. We have to teach them and raise them and show them the way. And, you know, since we are put on a certain platform, you know, we have, you know, those connections and we're able to do things like that. So I think it is important to give back. So you, Melissa Ford, are actresses. You have credits I do. as an actress. Are mm-hmm. you, have you acted before? No, I'm. You know, I'm trying to slide into it. Okay, well, I'm just. I'm just <laughs> letting you know now. I'm thinking about it. Just letting you know now. I'm officially an actor. What? Yes, I am. I I, I, I starred at two lines. <laughs> I was in uh, Games People Play, uh, the show that you uh, just premiered oh, on yeah. BET last yes, night. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. just last night I saw you. You know, we, we had a, a viewing at the London last night with okay. you know, some of our our family. I definitely. We saw you know, your so when, cameo. when Tracy called me, I said, "There's nobody in LA that can do me better than me." Exactly. Yeah. Jason L. Jackson, I see you, man. No, it was just, it was just Jason Lee. <laughs> yeah, you look good on camera. Thank let you. me tell you, boo. Thank you, I appreciate it. So, did you Did you have to audition for the role? I did. You mm-hmm. know, so last year I kind of like took a break from acting just because it was really hard. Like, just I'm mm-hmm. sure you probably understand just all the auditions mm-hmm. and all of the lines that we have to cram into our head. I yeah, was it's like, tough for us. Like, I, I, yeah, you know, it is really hard. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know how you all do it because those two lines. You're hella, I'm, just no, thinking, I'm just thinking about yesterday. Uh, you had one line. One line. <laughs> Tell the story. So we were doing our promo photo shoot uh, last night and we were doing kind of like a little bit of a, you know. Teaser. A teaser, exactly. I, I've come back to the show after my car accident and oh my some other stuff. Eh, sorry, but girl. We'll get, we'll get to that later, maybe. Um, and so we each had kind of like a line. I had one line. Yeah, one, yeah, one job. Line. One, one, one job. And what? he was like, Calvin, what the what, what's the line again? It's something about life and Wait, what was the it, line? what you make it. What was the line? You know life comes with a lot of changes. Oh, you know life comes with a lot of changes. Listen, I understand okay. we had was a powerful um, line. Rack rants on the show. Yeah. You know, she has her own. Oh, like, I was mad about that. Rock had a much larger part than I did. Oh, <laughs> Tracy, I'm going to be calling you about that. Hey, we can have you back. Don't I'm down. worry. I, I, I'm praying for a season I'm two down. and it's looking good. So don't worry. And I'm going to be we'll just like this. Back. I can't believe what's happening. <laughs> My life is going to be written right here. <laughs> Listen, Cue cards it's right hard. behind the camera. I feel like coming from this world, especially because you guys get to just literally be yourselves yes. mm. and you don't have like a script or anything. Yeah. So when you come, it's like super nerve wracking. So I totally understand. Sometimes we go on set and we don't even know our fucking lines. Like literally, we're learning them in the makeup chair. So Can I just it's say okay. how much I love that she curses? Like I, I, I have I, a problem. No, you don't because I have the same fucking problem, okay? <laughs> Fuck is I mean, my favorite word. Oh, shit. And I'd be like, motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I'm like, these motherfuckers. 
motherfuckers do, are Wait, tripping. do you realize we've, 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 had to, we've had to limit her amount of fucks that she can say on the show because we do like our advertisers. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sorry, advertisers. No, no, but keep it cute. Pretty, we'll gr- try and pretty keep Girls it. Kirsch could be a brand. Ooh. Ooh it's going to have to fucking I just be. Want to no, yeah. Sorry, I said it's going to have to fucking We're going to throw naked. that on a shirt for real. So last night I text Saranis Jackson. I'm like, why are you butt naked on the show? Ooh. And then as he continued to be naked, I was like. Really? <laughs> he basically stopped texting me after a while. But yeah, no, he's such a hoe in that show. He is. What is wrong with him? Listen, he can't keep it in his pants. Literally. Just yet another reason why but I'm I mean, going to be tuning in. Listen, what nigga can is. <laughs> hey, but, if I, you I, got one that can, girl, str- keep him. Black keep men him, don't girl. cheat, okay? That's oh, not, yeah, okay. That's not all, this game. All, all men cheat. Yeah, it doesn't matter men. the color for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're in a very interesting time, and I feel like, you know, when you're a, a man in, in a position of power, it's easy to just take advantage of, you know, those opportunities. You're getting thrown shit at you left and Harvey right. Harvey so. Weinstein. Listen, <laughs> so, so speaking of uh, Serranus and his relationship, his broken relationship with Lauren London, it's a mess. The scratches on the back. As soon as he got out the bed, I was like, nigga, you going, you done. You done. Yeah. So you had a, a you had some personal stuff going not mm-hmm. this this past year with mm-hmm. Chris mm-hmm. Sales. Uh, he, I guess he's an Instagram star. No, I don't really. YouTube. Oh, YouTube. <laughs> I believe too. I mean, he's big on YouTube and he Instagram. Is. He is, yeah. He but is. But you guys were in a relationship, and I remember when that happened. I knew Chris, but I don't know him personally. I just know him from knowing pretty much connected yeah. to so everybody. He sings as well. Mm-hmm. And Something so you like were that, in a yeah. music video of yeah, his. Yeah, I did. I was in his music video. Oh, so you really all pretty. ended up in a relationship, and so. You've never talked about what happened, have you? No, I'm not really like legally allowed to right now because it's like a case going, like an actual case. So okay. I can't really like speak on you know the details, but you know it, it is what it is. We definitely had a relationship. You know, I literally like put my life on hold to kind of like move out there. Which We've was done like, that but, before. Yeah, all of us. very, very like for the wrong person. All of the people that I've dated, and I choose this guy to literally just like go off and mm. fucking pack up all my shit. Literally, I'm still dealing with. I'm in the middle of getting my stuff from storage from Houston. Still to this day, dealing with stuff like that. So you know, it, it's just funny how life works. But you know, I'm back and shit. I'm back better than ever. He so. was um, Queen Naja's boyfriend beforehand. Baby right? daddy. They Baby had, daddy. Oh, husband. Mm-hmm. They okay. had a little they had a little situation. Did she, did Wait, she, which one is it? Was it well, all I was gonna three? say, did she like all send three. you like <laughs> all three? All three, yeah. Oh, all three. Okay. Did she like kind of send you like an SOS like girl run for your life? Smoke don't signals? They, don't don't do it. <laughs> don't date him. Dot com. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't send me an SOS. Okay. Uh, she plenty of people did before, you know, uh-huh. and my little self was like Oh, I don't know what the hell was wrong. You wanted with me, to see the best in him. Yeah, I did. I wanted yeah, to see the best in him. You know, I am such that person. Like, I really do try and just, you know, see it's the best in. Very others. much a girl thing. It is, yeah. But mm-hmm. I don't know because I've dealt with so many, not so many other guys, but many other guys where I'm easily just like, no, nigga, I'm mm. not. You know, but for some do reason, I don't know how he he hooked me. Do you feel like <laughs> it's manipulation on his part or maybe poor decisions on your part? I think it's definitely both for sure. Okay. Well, he sings like he's an R and B singer. I he mean. Like they, they they're like, like that, pipers. So don't give him that credit. He's he much like beard. singing Listen, me to sleep. Yeah, I, I have a like thing if for I beards. Get a beard, <laughs> it's old so beards are yes. So okay. when all so when all this went down, I was of course my nice job is to try to find out what's happening, right? right. I'm like I didn't know you at the time. I knew of Chris. So I reached out to Chris. I'm like, what's happening? And he said, basically, you all were hanging out and there was alcohol involved and you got out of control and he became the victim. And then he was being, <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying what he said. Give her a chance to okay. say her part because, you know, I didn't run mm. with his interview because right. I felt like there's always two sides of a story. And if yeah. I can't get both sides, I, yeah, I mean, I don't want a story. I want both sides, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. So, um, yeah, so he just said there was alcohol involved and there was a lot going on in front of his son and he felt like he needed to protect himself oh, I can't like give too many details but I can just say that that's a lie that's a lie and I'll just leave it at that you know even if even if I feel like <clears throat> let's just remove me from the situation mm-hmm. let's just say and remove him from the situation let's say you know you guys are drinking whatever it doesn't matter or smoking or anything it doesn't matter that should never lead you to put your hands on anybody you know what I I'm saying I wholeheartedly yeah. agree that's just period that's Trust just me, I, I, I've, I've been a bad drinker that's why I don't drink anymore right. yes. I don't drink anymore honestly I don't yeah. drink or smoke anymore at all I've, this is a new thing for me but 
I just want to be live a cleaner, healthier life right now. So mm. now, what do you say to those people? There are people like in the comments of the YouTube video saying there's footage of you being kind of the aggressor, or maybe you were playing rough with him. Well, like, that say that maybe you could have. They're talking about pranks, and I'm sorry, exactly. I hate to say it, but all of those pranks are fake, guys. Well, <laughs> mm. you I'll go it. ahead but and you, put but, that shit but on see, blast. You can't ruin Instagram. People believe everything on Instagram is real. Yeah, no, definitely. You, <laughs> they do. Instagram. And we I'm just talking about YouTube. I don't know about Instagram. Oh, yeah, so I, don't, I don't really know if who does pranks or anything like that on on Instagram, and that's totally fine. I totally understand those skits and stuff. Some of that shit is funny, but like all YouTube, and I'm not just speaking on him. I'm talking about everybody. Well, I'm not gonna say everybody because I don't know them, but most of that stuff is fake and mm. planned. And well, look at little Tay. She was a little nine year old rolling yeah. around here in Rolls Royces and My throwing God. money out the you window. You gotta figure out how to play the game, you know, and that's how people make their money at the end of the day. So if they figured out a way to you know play it and mm-hmm. do it right and you know get their money more power to them so what was the lesson you walked away from that relationship like because i believe you know all the relationships i've been in thankfully i haven't had a lot of ones go south i mean i've just left or they've ended when you look back on that relationship what did you learn as a woman what did you come out of that relationship learning as a woman i came out of that relationship just like i don't know just really having to relearn to like love myself all over Mm. again because for some reason like it was completely gone and I feel like I've never been that kind of person like I've never just completely like let myself go even the way that I like looked or even how I cared just about myself was just I literally so you didn't just, look like this no I didn't look like this really? every day no I mean oh. sometimes but eventually you know like when things just started happening I kind of just let myself go and I didn't really care about anything other than like, I'm pretty sure you letting yourself go is still the average woman's nine or ten <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I was skinny. Like, when I look back, like, I'm thick now. Or and I'm not even, like, super thick, but, you know, I have, like, meat on my bones. Mm-hmm. And, like, when I look back on pictures of myself, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, who was that person? And, like, what was she really going through, you well, know? Besides the, you know, the the alleged assault, mm-hmm. I have to use the word alleged just, uh, you yeah. know, for case purposes. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it's still an ongoing case. What was the relationship itself toxic in terms of um emotionally or yes. mentally abusive mm. yes definitely and um i don't know i just i i can honestly say i just don't think that i don't know i don't think we were good for each other we just weren't a good fit and you know when you kind of like especially when you have so many like eyes on you you're trying mm-hmm. to like make something oh, I, work i get it yeah. i mean you know? I, I stayed in a relationship <laughs> for three years that i knew after the first two months was bad right yeah. because you know there were there were positives and i mean there yeah. was there was yeah. some support there to watch my brother there was different things that complemented the lifestyle right. that mm-hmm. i was trying to live yeah but i knew it was like all bad so the lesson i learned from that relationship was you know all the time we will take to reinvest in making something that we know won't work work mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. be spent in just on yourself on, on better in myself yeah. or my whole situation and that's I'm, that's another thing that I took from it I was like you know what fuck that like I realized who the fuck I was I realized you know what I don't need to I wasn't born to take care of this person or make this person like love themselves or love me or anybody around them you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying and that's another thing that I realized like if you don't love yourself like if that person that you're trying to be with they don't love themselves like they will (laughs) suck the life out of you yeah like it's impossible to have a relationship with somebody like that yeah interestingly Mm -hmm. um at the time you all got in a relationship were you getting into that relationship right when he was broken from his last one so do you feel like you were there rebound? To, not a re, not not rebound. No, no, no. I think as a sort of to like a a emotional crush. Crush. You know, yeah, yeah like yeah. you know how like where Cushion. somebody needs somebody to be with them to help. Maybe he's them. like the kind of guy that just can't be alone. Oh no, he definitely is. Mm. Yeah. I hate like even like talking about him like this. It's I, fine. This is terrible. Breaking him down. Yeah, we're just breaking him down. <laughs> Listen, I understand. Like I'm a relationship kind of person too, but I do think it's definitely healthy to like have a break and focus on yourself. You know, yes. and focus on your family and you know whatever you need to do to just get by. It doesn't. You don't have to just jump from person to person. You know, and I know he. It just happens. We're young, you so, know? So mm-hmm. getting back into games people play. So now you're back on television. Mm-hmm. Was this um, a, a good reward for you personally to see that you came yes. out of the situation? Now you're back <laughs> on television. And how did that help you stay focused? Uh, it was literally like my first audition, like when I came home. So it was like just 
you know, it was surreal because I went, I auditioned, and then like an hour later they called and they're like, hey, hey. we want you to come and test for it. And I'm just like, what? Like, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> so, because um, I know that they have been auditioning like tons of people before then, like when I was probably still trying to get my life together. Like when I moved back, you know, I was staying with my friend. I didn't even have my own place yet. Like mm -hmm. I was still trying to get everything right. So it was really just like, I don't know, kind of like a clue for me, like, yes, you're on the right path yeah. and this is what you need to be doing with your life and not worried about, you know, bullshit. But that's good to hear you say that, though, because I feel like a lot of people, especially in this city, don't really like live in their truth. We all have a struggle story. Everybody mm -hmm. has a, you know, I don't want to say rock bottom. I mean, I've had rock bottoms, mm -hmm. but I mean, we've all had a place where we have to press that restart button yeah. mm -hmm. and then build ourselves out. So now mm -hmm. that you're on the show and you have the visibility, and you've built these great relationships with Tracy and, and um, Lauren and other people on the show. What What's next? So like, what do you want to do now? Uh, I just want to keep working, honestly. I really hope to just, I mean, I, I hope games people play last forever and ever. Yeah. You know, I hope we get two, three, four, five seasons. That would be amazing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in between working with them, I would love to, you know, do movies and, you know, work on a little bit of music myself and hey. continue. I have a um, swimsuit line. I was about to Penny ask Dip, you so. about that. Yeah, so I'm just like constantly just doing stuff like that. And I'm also like in the very, very early stages of writing my own kind of like true story that would be like a thriller kind of scary oh, nice. movie yeah so <laughs> I, I, I based on your last relationship no. <laughs> <laughs> hey I mean sometimes they're horror too. stories Listen, but same Freddy Krueger is dead <laughs> So I just that, to go. That, you just gave me an idea. Thank you. You're welcome. I just You're went welcome. to go get this house, and we're standing in the driveway, looking in the window. And I guess in the movie Us, uh -huh. there was a part in the movie where they were mm -hmm. saying there's a family standing in the You've driveway. You've seen? Okay. No, I haven't seen Get Out. Oh what? my gosh! I don't have time to go to the Jason, movies. All right. You could. You, you what, what do you watch? Do you do stuff no. at home where you just work all I watch day and night? It. Yeah, I work oh my a lot, gosh. and I watch CNN. Golden Girls. And Homecoming. Golden Girls. I love it. And Homecoming. <laughs> and homecoming. And homecoming. You just have that on repeat at have, home. Did you, have you seen that? I haven't seen it. What? I, I, I'm not like a I've huge... I've watched it. Don't, don't even... Uh, I don't know the nope, <laughs> nope. Just move, move. Don't even say it. She's about to, she's about to violate I'm one of the bi not, laws in the Bible. Uh, Thou shalt not rebuke Beyonce. Yeah. I love she, her. You know what? I'm a fan but of her But you're not a stan. Yeah. I'm okay. a fan of her work ethic. Like yeah. That's what I love about her. But I'm not... I was just talking to my manager about this the other day. Like, I don't really stand for anybody. I gotta stand for my motherfucking self. Yeah, like, listen, that's true. You but know? you, but you definitely, if you, you appreciate her for her work ethic, her for then her. this only. I gotta look. Let me I tell you what I put it. on my Facebook. Yeah, I said, that. Beyonce dropped a movie and an album last night. What did you do? Because I mean, like, Slept. I mean, <laughs> but if you watch it, I mean, she shows how she was. Yo. She weighed like 219 pounds with her yeah. twins and had to complicate. I mean, just I can't tell you. Yeah, you gotta I, watch it. I am always. I love yeah. Twitter. I'm like such a, a really. I love Twitter, and I don't really tweet a lot. I hate Twitter. I, mean, I love it. And they but just don't you ever talk think about Twitter? I just was talking to Charlemagne about Twitter. People are going back to like 2010 oh. on Twitter and finding yeah. shit. <laughs> I had made it. That's why I don't tweet anything. Huh? Yeah. yeah. On I was no, like, one of my friends, she had said something about she was she wanted to get into some date rape, and I said, "Oh, I'm in." Oh well, clearly, gosh. I'm gay oh. and you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> but they try to make Dude. that an issue. Listen, we live in a very <laughs> sensitive time. These we do. days are very sensitive, so I that's why I just try and keep my mouth shut half the time because they can that's take the anything way. that you say out of context. But I just love Twitter for the jokes and all the shit that the they talk on there stuff. they're just so freaking funny so i know she was like so dedicated to her diet and she there was so she ate apples, apples, right, apples exactly. and air there was a joke it was like beyonce's diet and it was literally someone just like stirring nothing. air yeah <laughs> literally and i'm like it's, it's for real yeah like i was so like i'm already knowing i she's amazing <laughs> yeah amazing i walked in here saying i'm hungry i there's no way i could follow her diet Girl, I, I got and fruit I do in a, my bag i don't do a quarter <laughs> a, an eight a sixteenth of what that woman does it's good day. to be able to like look at somebody like a Beyonce goals. and say, "Man, I'll never do it." Half goals. of what she does is goals, but I, I'm gonna do a quarter of it. Fuck yeah, it. I'm gonna yeah. do a quarter. I think about her in the gym these days. I'm just like, Pfft. yeah, her body is amazing. I mean, on top yeah. of her vocals, like we don't even need to go there. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah, she's pretty. The you're just homecoming. not a stan. For I'm just Beyonce. not a stan. Even like I love Rihanna, but I still like I'm not the type of person that's like I have to go to every single Rihanna. Like if she's in LA, yeah. I'm going. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just not like that for anybody. I don't know why. Not even I, like Lil Uzi or. Oh my God, no! Hilarious! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my startled God. her. <laughs> well, well, listen. This Ooh. is this, this is this. I is, do like him though. This is your opportunity to brag about yourself since you stand for yourself. Tell us more about your swimsuit line. Maybe you can send me a couple. Yes, of pieces. I definitely will. I don't um, know. They, will they be, will they fit on that ass? Maybe. Yes, we we are Melissa maybe. Ford, brand Melissa is, Ford has one of the most famous asses ever. Yesterday we were doing this photo shoot. And she was trying to squeeze into this red dress. <laughs> I had, to, I had to leave her alone and go to the other side of the room. I would yeah. love to see that ass in some honey dip. Ooh, I, just, she, I just really like her. Honey dip it. She was so unexpected. Honey dip it. So, so, yeah. so how did the line come about? Yeah. Okay, so the line came about. So funny enough, I and was working name. on... What's the name? Honey dip. You know, like, I just okay. feel like we're honey dips. Like, all women, we're honey dips. Mm-hmm. Like, we're sexy. We, we're dripped in honey, you mm-hmm. know? So I, I like just, I felt well. like, you know, that was a little, a little name. And they use it back in the day like Cameron and like every, they use it to call oh, yeah. shorties yeah. They, there was they actually call there was, yeah. actually, was there a, what was the candy called was it just dip or something dip I remember mm-hmm. remember it had a little sugar stick and then what, I've what been on a about? diet since I was five I don't know <laughs> oh. I have no idea but honey dip yes it is it was something that yeah something that yeah. guys that you know you definitely be like hey she's a honey dip over there yeah. so I was like you know I'm hey, still that I really, I really and I feel like you know when I get a tan I'm honey dip so I feel that way but the brand basically came about like everyone always teases me you could find me in a fucking swimsuit online probably more than you'll find me in clothes like that was a joke for a long time they're like girl do you wear clothes because we only see you at the beach and in you know bikinis so i'm like well, you're, you're a cali what? girl Duh. exactly and, and you got the you. body and the body too <laughs> but i, I feel <laughs> like when you. it comes to pretty girls yeah i mean let me let me first say this to all the the not so pretty girls listening i'm not targeting you i'm just oh saying my god to, no but because i have i have sisters some are pretty and some are, are not <laughs> oh my and gosh i'm sure the ones that are pretty have had a lot more of what you experienced than the others have listen guys i'm sorry niggas are thirsty they will holler at a trash bag literally they wait, don't they wait, don't we had, they, they, we, had, we, <laughs> hey, we, we had t.s madison here a trans uh, a transsexual out of uh atlanta yeah and she said all men need is a hole literally it's, it's she gets crazy. way more action than i ever ever she do. get more action than i do yeah she's yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy so i don't yeah. believe what you just said is true anyone what? can pick <laughs> Pretty, not pretty. Like, there's no such thing these days. No, like, it ain't. Everybody they, get changed. What? Just, Everybody it just, oh, it, it yeah, just yeah. gets will love. Do, yeah, because literally, like niggas just will nig. As as is the, what me and my sister say. Niggas will nig. nig. <laughs> no, but what what you were saying is true. Pretty, pretty girls who like actually enjoy their attractiveness and wear stuff to show it off yeah. get a lot of shit on social media. Yeah. It's just like turn well, the comments well, then, then, then again, if you're not pretty, just put your face down the pillow. Then everybody looks good. <laughs> so I think everyone looks good in honey dip. So there, there that, 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 that was my point of creating the swimsuits. Do you do your own makeup? Sometimes, yeah. Did you do it today? I did. Yeah. Oh, no, because your face looks it's so fresh. Really pretty. Thank you. She has a glow. Really pretty. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we I'm love gonna it. stop giving out compliments this no, week. No, please. I feel like I'm <laughs> we love them. Keep them coming. So are you single now? I'm not single. Really? Oh, oh you just you're everybody taking just, time for yourself. <laughs> everybody just turned off the show. <laughs> I am in an amazing relationship with literally like the most amazing person. Ever. Bounce back. Wow. Yeah. I, I was gonna bring him, what? but I was like, Ben, okay. stay home. He's amazing with, person. I was gonna say her name her, him, no, okay, her, okay. his name is JJ. He um not the actor JJ. No, he's okay. he plays football, but um he was oh, wait, my only on. boyfriend in high school. And really? like yeah. <laughs> And my family loves him. Like he's just so great. See that, but you violated the rule I have. Do you know my rule? What's, What's the rule? Life does Going not backwards. go in reverse. Yeah. So I know. I'm usually like that too. I don't do redos. He's the only person that I literally have gone like after every single relationship that I've had. Like I'm, I'm a relationship kind of person. So when I graduated high school, I had a boyfriend for two years. Then. I b- broke up with him and then I kind of like jumped into another situation which led me into another long serious mm-hmm, relationship mm-hmm. for two years and then I broke up with him. So have you been single for a while? Why no. Not, you the at, longest I've what? been single has been. Beautiful. You, are, you are young, beautiful, not, there's you are on TV. There's nothing out here for me. These niggas are lame. Like literally no, no, I can't. I understand. You should go to Sweden. You should be in. I ha- I've been all like, over been the there. world. Literally, really? yes. I, I she just, wanted JJ. I, <laughs> I wanted JJ and I got him. 
him. <laughs> I would definitely say that before the age of 30, so I guess I'd started dating like around 14, 15. Mm-hmm. Damn, Between, that was young. Not really. What the hell you dating at 14? Do you know what I look like at 11? Wait a minute, but it doesn't matter. At 14, 15, what, what, what y'all doing? Doing it? No. Whoa, whoa, Listen, let me go on that first. I mean, maybe not you. To all, our, to all our advertisers. I was the last to one to lose my virginity out of all my friends. The okay. last one. But 14, okay. 15, like, <laughs> no, I was at my, I was at my sister's house during Easter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 my niece is there, and they're they're, they're like, oh, a motherfucker tried it because they watch my show. <laughs> So I'm like, yeah, motherfucker tried it, whatever. So I'm sitting there, and this boy walks in, uh-huh. and he walks up to my niece, and he puts his arm around her, yeah. and, and he's like leaned into her, G and I up. said, hold on a minute, the fuck is going on? <laughs> because you acting like you pay rent up in here, right. dad is right here. That would Uncle's not happen in my house. And he was like, happen. I got permission. I said, from who? And he said, your sister. Oh, it was a family moment. <laughs> so 14, what do you do? Play with like Listen, little well, we ponies, went, we my went little to, pony? We went to movies. Yeah. Like, yeah. I went to the movies. And the, we mall? Went, the mall? There, the mall. The mall is lit. The when mall you're 14? Was lit when you're that's 14 the, that's and the date. Wait, so yeah. you're 23. But you were No, so I was saying, like, between the ages of when I started dating until 30, I think I was single for like nine months. Yeah. In all that time. Like, it's just like, it's just one. I'm just it's, it's a, a relationship kind of person. Like, I don't get like Get a dog. To, I have two. I have a oh dog my now. I love my dog. Honestly, she got it all I sorted love, out. I, I, I'm like such, honestly, I'm just like, what's really important to me right now is just family and just work, you know? So I'm not really one, like, how many times have you, because I'm, I'm, you do go out. I'm sure you probably I go, go out. A little bit, yeah. When have you seen me out? <laughs> I've never seen you out. Okay. Like, I'm just <laughs> so not like that. All the time. No, I go out for work. I'm just <laughs> not like that. Yeah, I barely even go out for work. Yeah, I've never seen My you manager is like bitch if you don't get out in these streets and people need to know you're alive I'm like but I like my bed and I like you seem very calm very yeah, like yeah I'm just like when's not your birthday my, I'm, uh, I'm a Leo oh, me too 18th. what day August 18th 16th ah! Man, that's good. Wins. Keep the Wait, crazies in so the now, house. Now, now I have Keep more, her in the house. Now, now I have more questions. Don't let Go her out. ahead. Wait, how are you so calm as Leo? Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking say. calm. I'm fucking crazy. Yeah, Leos are not known for be. I was gonna say, are you a Scorpio? Because you're so no. you're super restrained in your home body. You're on the cusp of being a Virgo, though. Yeah, Keep kind of. My sister's a Virgo. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not calm, honestly. I'm a bitch <laughs> sometimes. I really okay, am. Okay, well then maybe we are, we are like. <laughs> yeah, we definitely are. I could keep it together in a professional yeah. setting, but woo, honestly, I think, after I, I get home, the real me oh, is, I think is out. I think where Leos are misunderstood is, we're not going to let you run all over. Oh my gosh. Business, personal, it just, I mean, even my family. I don't family. think that's a misunderstanding. It can only go for People so long. Know that. <laughs> I, and then we get our breaking point, right? No, and then you got to let a nigga know. No, because I, I do feel like as a Leo, like my, my family, they tried me this weekend. Yeah. Oh, I had regulated the whole damn house. <laughs> yeah. I throw this macaroni cheese in the toilet and <laughs> fuck this whole dinner up. Here, here's, here would be, here's a misconception about Leos Uh-oh. that might actually be a little bit true. You tread, let me tread, know. Tread mm-hmm. lightly. I'm just going to say it. You I want to hear it. Uh, say it with your chest. It, say it with, okay, is that you guys could be a little self-absorbed. No way. I don't <laughs> Leo. Is that a misconception? I feel like I'm a very considerate person. You know, when it, I feel like a little self absorbed when I'm like, can you take my picture? Like stuff like that. But like other than that, I don't really feel no. like You don't give me Leo. Wait, wait. And, I, and, I, and I would not say um, we're self absorbed. I would say we know what we want, we know what we expect, and we don't expect anything less yeah, than that. And there's exactly. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. That's like when women are told <laughs> you're not allowed to, like, if you if you demand things, you're a bitch. No, you just you want your stuff the way yeah, you want it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we deserve uh, listen, it. I said it. We work hard. Okay. Oh, shit. A misconception. It, it takes yeah. a lot for us Leos to tame ourselves <laughs> for all you regular motherfuckers. <laughs> I get along great with Leos. I have, like, my best friend's a Leo. My mom's a Leo. Like, I have tons of Leos around me. So I feel like us later in the month are just, like, we're on some other shit. Us earlier in the month. He's a Virgo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that's fire. Yeah, you're not, no. no. If they're gonna have no problem. Like not really, because Virgos are emotional. Man. No. Oh, he has really? <laughs> so if you're coming with all that and fierceness, can see, you just be like you. emotionless? Sometimes just like very, see, just like I, yeah. But see, that's what people say. Cold hearted. I wouldn't Virgos say it's emotionless. Emotional. It's just like 
Okay, I ain't got time. There's for a this. time. There's a time and place. <laughs> there's time and place. Literally, <laughs> there's a time and place. Sometimes and it ain't I'm like, I can't when even. You do it. Like, I, listen, when I'm done with my work day, sure, I'll come home and I'll cry a little bit and maybe want to <laughs> argue with you. But, babe, right now, I have to fucking go. Like, <laughs> and I'm not even gonna that's allow a, myself to go there. You know see, what I'm saying? That's, so, a, feel, that's I feel a Leo. Like, that's a Leo. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's absolutely a Leo. Same. I feel like Virgos are very OCD. Like very anal retentive. Don't say anything I right now. Okay. I are you a Virgo? Like, I'm a Libra. <laughs> oh, you're a Libra. Oh. Are what you are you? A I'm a Scorpio. Can we, can can we, my best friend is Scorpio. Can we, yeah. can we just circle back to anal retentive? What does that mean? It basically <laughs> means anal retentive. anal retentive just basically Wait. everything has a has a place I just and just very just, organized, oh, but like yeah. in a very like controlling kind That's of me. way. Yeah. I don't know like about Virgos that are known for their personal hygiene. Yeah, this, this is just, this could be yeah, true. It's just definitely. the thing. Like they're really clean people. So, so what are like what are some of your pet peeves now that we've gotten <laughs> anal retentiveness out the way? What are some of your pet peeves? Some of my pet peeves. Oh Jesus! Honestly, I don't. I just hate rude people. Mm-hmm. I don't like people that. Um, I don't know. I'm bad fucking breath. chill. Yeah, <laughs> bad breath. I guess would be one. And oh. just. I don't like I don't like people that like act like they're better than others. Yeah. I mm-hmm. I hate that. That's something that I've like been dealing with lately with so many people. Just like even being on set and just little things happening and me just seeing little Ooh, things. Ooh, spill like, it, Ugh. spill it, tea, girl. Who's the asshole it's on none of my set cast wait, 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 besides wait, 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 him? No, 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 no. <laughs> I need Parker to get through season to season two because I need <laughs> right. more allies inside. It's oh, none okay, of my cast sorry. members. Everybody like honestly the cast is you amazing. Guys have a good group they're of people. Sw- yeah, they're all amazing and we're all so funny we've literally become like a little family so it's none of my cast members it's other just like crew and people just seeing little things and i'm just like why are you this way like mm. somebody's not understand. even on the screen coming through like, <laughs> yeah, but, I, but i think it's because just people in general whether you're i mean i've worked in service work at hospitals i've worked in i mean i think people just who are not happy people yeah just it aren't shows, un- it shows yeah. you know but mm-hmm. i think you know for me you, you unhappy around me get your ass out of here right i'm like why are you here if you don't want it like you can go. You oh. don't have to be here, yeah. you know, and just like bring down the vibe on set and little stuff like that. Mm. But I, I just don't like rude people. I don't really have too many pet peeves. I'm pretty fucking chill, mm. honestly. Mm. So and my pet peeve, don't eat my fucking food. Oh. Don't eat my food. That's one thing. Because I'm so like, I'm the type of person, like, if you ask me, hey, can I have this? I'm going to be like, yeah, you can. Because I'm like, I'll go get another one. It's really not that big of a deal. But if you eat oh. it without asking me. I have a problem. So I've told this story before. I had a friend who used to eat our food. We used to get free food. Well, we were poor. I mean, we were just... Niggas had money for alcohol, but we didn't have money for shit. <laughs> I didn't even get haircuts back then. I just combed that shit back and went. But anyway, um, we, we used to have a friend. TBT. We used to have a friend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lou Nell sliding my fucking DMs talking about this is why I was trying to fuck you. Is a, it was, it was oh, my gosh. Anyway, so my, we used to have a friend that worked at Jack in the Box. So we would get free Jack in the Box food. We would be, okay. we'd be high all day, and then they bring home the free Jack in the Box. Well, he would eat the stuff we would put away for our, for us. Mm-hmm. He would just eat it just to be an asshole. Mm-hmm. So one day we went and got a bunch of um, laxatives, and we just smashed them up, and put them all in the food, <laughs> and we took what? all the toilet paper out the house, <laughs> and he ate That's it all. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, he had, his stomach made the loudest sound, <laughs> and he was back there shitting, and we knew that he he was shit he shit every. Thing in it. I mean, he was shitting mu- mucus from his nose up, and he had nothing but socks. So we knew he had to wipe his butt with socks. It was funny. Oh my god! So years oh later, years later, we told him what we did to him. It was so funny. But oh my I god! I wish I was that much of people an asshole. People shouldn't be eating people's shit. Eat. Yeah, you shouldn't, or at yeah. least Pause. ask. Yeah. <laughs> eating people's shit. Well, yeah, exactly. Worried. Another anal Unless retentiveness. Unless you're into that, then yeah. cool. <laughs> well, listen. So what? Um, what else can people expect for you? So we have the uh, swimsuit line. We have. Games people will play on BET that's going to continue airing yes. for probably five more seasons, and mm-hmm. I hope to get on another yes, episode. Yes, every Superstar. season. Superstar. <laughs> and what else? What else? So music. So what? What is the type of music that you're singing? Uh, I don't even know. I'm like still in artist development. I feel like for 90 years I have been. My um, dad actually has been doing music like his whole life, and he manages so many people and you know, put so much work into them, but I'm always like auditioning or working on something, Mm -hmm. you know, like over the years, I've definitely been working. I've done pilots. I've done, you know, low budget movies, all types of things that, you know, people may not know about, but I'm definitely still out here working. So I haven't really had tons of time to like get in the studio and really find my sound. I'm all over the place. Like I love who inspires you. 
Oh, like I love SZA. Mm-hmm. I even oh, love like Tanache. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I love okay. like I'm all over the place. I love Ariana Grande. So I don't really know. But what about older? Old. Yeah. I love like. She ain't about stuff. to say Jody Watley. Her father's been in music forever, so she might. This actually girl is have 23. This... She is not about to say Jody Watley. I don't even know who that is. Oh that my god! Sucks, honestly, you set yourself up, Melissa. <laughs> That's <laughs> really sad. Shut up. <laughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh yeah. Minnie Ripperton. Okay, yeah. See, like my favorite, like old, old. Okay, so okay. older. I'm not gonna say old. Wait, wait. Because <laughs> older. And the motherfucker gonna be 43. It's gonna be your age. I'm gonna fall out. Just That's keep, what I said. Wait, no, put it out. Not, no, <laughs> say that shit. How old? I can't even say. Drew Hill. No, you know what? You know what? I actually like. I love Groove Theory. I love Groove Theory. Oh, theory. Speaking yeah. of theory, Bryce Wilson keeps asking why I haven't invited him on the show, and he's been invited. <laughs> so maybe you should come back and co-host with us, and yes, we'll get Bryce. I would love that. Yeah, Bryce. And cool. I love Mariah Carey. I'm a diehard Mariah. Like that's that's, that's who, who I you stand, stand for. for. Okay. Yeah. Like okay. I I went to her concert. I remember my mom took me front row, and I just cried the whole time. She's like, "Girl, are you okay?" I'm like, "Do you not say it's Mariah Wait, Carey?" Wait, but bitch. Vision of Love, Mariah Carey, or Mariah Carey at New Everything. Year's Eve? Okay. Favorite album. I ha- you know what? I haven't got a chance to listen to Caution. That was her latest like mm-hmm. thing. I love like all like from em- Emancipation before. That was a great yeah. album. Uh, that's like the one of the best You know albums one of my favorite songs but, uh, favorite songs but, well not by her she did a cover um, with Jingle Bells? No with Cisco actually. <laughs> what? Um, it was uh, Do not sing it. I'm Into not the gonna dragon? sing it. Fuck you. <laughs> um, no, the beautiful ones by Prince. Oh my God yes. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. That's, that's one of my faves too. Yeah. You, know, you know who made that song better than her? Who? Prince. Oh, um, but duh. Anyway, thanks for Sorry, Mariah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> but it's Prince. Come yeah. on. Prince He's one of my faves, is, too. Yeah. I love Stevie Wonder. We like, actually oh. met Prince together, and I got to dance on stage with him, and she was too scared to get up there. What? I was, what yes. What the heck is wrong Madison with Square I Garden. know. It was, it, girl, it with was Madison Prince? Square Gardens, and Prince asked us all to come up on stage. I would have been like, what? And, and, and I was like, there. I'll, I'm, I'll be, I'm fine here. I'm, oh I'm fine here. People no. don't realize as shy as I, I really am a shy person, except for when I'm here. We are. Leos are shy, right? We people have don't our moments. I'm don't like, understand. so yeah, they don't get it. We, we're loud, of course. When we're, when we're comfortable, we're loud, and you know, we, we can yeah, we go could, there. We can but, command a room. But we definitely <laughs> like to be more low key and just. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, but the best part was going back to his after party and meeting yes. uh, Madonna, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Jay Z. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, like you need nice. to write a movie about that. Oh, we were gonna write that. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see it. Yeah. It was, it was good <laughs> well, listen, thank you for coming on the show. We definitely want to keep in touch for yeah. sure. Yeah, and yeah, I, thank you for And I love your me. energy and continue thank to you. um, you know, if you ever need us, let us know. Definitely, I'll for be sure. back. I'm gonna come harass you guys up here. Maybe no, get you evicted. No, <laughs> we're, so they're, they're trying. They're trying to bring some more people up here. So maybe we get you, Saranis. We get a few people up here. Yeah. Love Let's that. definitely and get Lunell. that together. Yeah, <laughs> I love her. Love She's freaking love hilarious. Her oh, death. you have She's no idea. You should, she was our she was our very first she was our guest. First guest. She's been here twice now. Yeah, and she was like, his, she told me to get off Tinder, and it was. Just, Are you on Tinder? I was for a little girl. Oh you, my listen, God. You I can't know, believe that. Hold on, you know you how know bad me? it is in these streets out here. I know, but like, I'm just like, fuck. I've never like, I just feel like you can't do that. To I just, yourself. I just, you're way too beautiful, talented, and I stop. Listen, down the street listen, and a nigga will listen, be like pa- but those aren't the good ones though pa- pa- more pa- pause than on, put pause on that intervention because she's off Tinder and now I'm on it but that's a <laughs> no. whole other thing. I'm, only, I'm only on Tinder because I travel and t- sometimes I get lonely yeah. oh. oh my gosh no go to a bar I like go everywhere and meet people just I someone can't. to talk to like I can't Tinder is a scary fucking place no it is you know, yeah no it is you know people shit, you getting get their called, heads you can cut get called, up call, you can get killed calling Uber these days though mm-hmm. that's right. true I don't so. use that app very check that license Plate, ladies, <laughs> mm-hmm. check that license plate. Yeah. Well, listen, thanks for coming on the show. We're definitely going to follow you, and we'll make sure we follow her right now on Hollywood Unlocked too. So keep coming back, please. All right, thank, we're you. Out. Peace. thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs>